Most people in America are familiar with the complainer. The complainer makes observations of things and then constantly complains. They're constantly sitting allegedly in judgment of things. And yet a person who cares about America is a consumer advocate. And a consumer advocate says when we walk into a store, we are entitled to a certain level of rapport. We are also entitled to a certain level of professionalism and performance and productivity from those employees that are being paid hourly to perform tasks for both you and for me and especially for their companies, but more importantly for their vendors, you see. Vendors are entrusting hourly workers to be brand representatives of the food and the other types of products that a human being needs to live their life. And if there's a problem in that product, then the vendor or the company kind of needs to know that. If there's a challenge with an employee that is sort of interfering with the purpose of a business or the productivity of a store, then a corporation deserves to know that. If they're hiring the wrong people and getting a repeat problem with attrition and challenges with retention, then it's totally appropriate for someone who's an outsider, who has the wisdom and experience of observing those things and knowing something about that in general or specifics to share some information back to a corporation. You see, all these companies across America, especially restaurants, especially shops, say, hey, would you give us our feed, give us feedback? But there's one problem with that system right now. And that problem is that that feedback goes directly back to that store without necessarily, or it goes directly to the store and directly to the corporation. So two parts get the feedback, and I don't agree with that. What I feel is that they should take things back a little bit to the 80s where the corporation gets the feedback, can, can um, what do you call, arithmetically uh, uh, account that feedback and combine that feedback and then look at the feedback and go, okay, wow, we have a problem here, but this is really good here. We have some challenges here, but we got some suggestions here. And only people that really care about their communities want quality employees serving their family and friends when they go to eat, when they go to shop, when they go to sleep. We want to know that a hotel person is not going to open the door on our hotel suite and physically assault us, sexually abuse us, steal from us, borrow our money, as they might call it, or do anything funny. I recall when I brought my family home from Japan, we stopped at the main stopover in Detroit and someone was coming to pick us up, I think, because they could. And I made a point to say, this is a beautiful hotel. Let's, if you're willing, let's go out and look around. And we put a sign up, do not disturb. And when we came back, I think my son was still there and someone had tried to get in on him because he was so tired despite the sign said do not disturb and what we did find was someone had gotten into our trucks when we went out and that was making me pretty perturbed because that meant somebody had a key to my room now when we talk about quality of service what are we talking about we're talking about safety and under the u.s constitution under the amendments we have the right to our personhood the safety of our being we have the right to our paperwork the privacy of our records that belong solely to me or solely to you. We have the right to secure our property and possessions and the presents which we receive all across our lifetime from liars and cheaters and thieves. Does that make sense to you? Or are you still thinking I'm just a complainer about my experiences, an observer? You see, we used to have these guys named Annie Rooney who made these observations. We do have news reporters that share with you challenges they've seen. We do have investigative journalists that go after conditions that they see consistently. But if a lay reporter who runs his own company shares something with you, you think he's a complainer. He's not. He's a consumer paying your children, meaning your employees, for his company in your store. But then you think you have the right to discriminate and throw someone out of the store because they don't like your employees. No, you don't. Because there are codes of ethic put out there by the standards of the vendors that are supporting your little stupid ass store.
that says we don't play rough. We don't lie, steal, and cheat. We don't make secretary notes about what someone buys unless it's to help a company in basic data to know what to buy. So the purchasing department knows to continue to purchase things that are being requested from that store. They're expected from that company. I have personally purchased from a particular company all my adult life during the time I had a business to even now. And I now daily shop there. And I have the right to say, this is what I'm looking for here because I've always found it here. I appreciate that you're making new vendor relationships. I appreciate that you often change different things, but I just ate these crackers and they were horrible. And they were so horrible, I couldn't even feed them to the geese. My own geese wouldn't eat them. Now, if you don't want to know that, that's on you. But if an animal will eat the damn thing, maybe we shouldn't be buying them.